Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com. Today is Thursday the 8th of March and this is my daily setup video. I pick one of the signals from our Wave5 Trade signals service. Um, we provide both long and short trades every single day on weekly, daily and the 60 minute time frames. And we look for the fifth wave, uh, potential fifth waves of the Elliott Wave sequence, which is the highest probability move in that sequence. Uh, our members simply click on the image here. This is for shorts and download the spreadsheet. So let's have a look at the spreadsheet. I've chosen shorts today. So as you can see at the bottom here, we have weekly, daily and 60 minute. And on the 60 minute, you can see there's quite a few uh, setting up here on the 60 minute time frame here. So I've chosen just one of those as an example to set it up. And I'm going to use our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Ninja Trader platform. So I've chosen EXEL on the 60 minute time frame for a potential short. I'm using the Ninja Trader uh, Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. Uh, but we do provide it also for Think or Swim, Trade Station, and Multi Charts. So, as you can see here, when we are setting this up, at the top we've got quite a range bound period here. Only when it does break down here, we've got a trend. We've got a wave one, a wave two, a wave three, and then a pullback on a wave four. And this is what we're looking for to trade that fifth wave a pullback into our automated target zones. Uh, sorry, our probability zones here on the wave four. And then we're looking to trade the fifth into our automated target zones here. Also, what we do on our signals membership, we look for specific filters. So part of our strategy is the 535 oscillator down here with the red and the green. So this oscillator has pulled back between. 90 and 140 percent. So that's a good sign that, that pullback is pretty strong. We've had the stochastic crossover in the overbought zone so far. It may be heading back up again on this wave four, um, but it's still looking okay. So let's just zoom in and have a look, quick, a closer look. So as you can see from the wave three low, we've pulled back, which is natural. We found a way for resistance level here right between the, the green and the amber zone. The amber zone is an 80% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five low into our automated target zone down here in blue around about 2260. The green zone is an 85% probability. So it's, it's there or thereabouts, quite a high probability trade. We've got to look for an entry strategy on this. Usually we look for a, an entry below our 6.4 moving average low This uh, for a short here for um, for an entry but we had this big gap down um, yesterday and then it regained uh, most of those losses and then went pretty flat so we need to go below this low from yesterday so a 24 21 entry for the short is good and we've got the stop loss uh, a couple of ticks or cents above the wave for there around about 25 26 that still gives us a great risk to reward of 1 to 1.6 into our automated target zone down here at 2260. So keeping it simple, we've had a bearish move. It's pulled back against that bearish move, which is a wave four. And we're looking to trade the fifth wave. We're looking to go short on EXEL on the six minute time frame at 2421. As long as the high of this wave four does not get broken this order is still good even if it's going sideways because we're looking for the breakout to the downside so that's it it's shown you how we combine our signal service and our elliott wave indicator suite for ninja trader think or swim trade station or multi charts so have a great trading day and i'll speak to you all tomorrow